the program and, as the transmutation of genetic structure unfolds throughout the planet, your pre-encoded genetic program will activate. For a time, you will gradually begin the process of deprogramming from the old systems. Your identity will begin its march out of the third dimension, while your personality and ego may be more inclined to cling to a sinking ship. As the old programs of a dying world begin to unravel, you may experience a little discomfort, such as your entire world falling apart. It may be useful during this transition to remember that you are an interdimensional master who is an expert at transmuting crumbling realities. You have done this many times before. Debriefing, all that you have endured during your residency in planet Earth is extremely valuable to mission control. What interests us is not the information concerning the nature and effect of human dysfunctionality. If that were all we wanted, we could have just as easily read a newspaper. However, the fact that you endure human denial is of great importance. Why? Because as you transmute all the dysfunctional patterns that you have willingly taken and will transmute with you. Although you may not recall, you agreed to do this to assist Earth in her birthing process into the light. The nature of the agreement was that you would willingly transmute the denial you have borne, who you have been erroneously told you are, and all that you have come to humanly represent. You agreed to transmute all this into the very fabric that is to become the new garment of a transfigured world. Consequently your debriefing process is very dear to us because it is a sacred act. Helpful hints for the second coming. The second coming is imminent and you may as well get ready. This is a particularly good idea, because you're it. You are the second coming. Mission Control does not wish to stay on this topic very long because we are aware of the charge that surrounds it due to 2,000 years of organized denial. For this reason, we will give you only one more helpful hint. Become your own messiah. Why wait? That statement is not only not heretical, it is the entire point. That is what the transmutational process is all about. Mission Control has no further comment. 3. The mission. The following section uses many military terms to describe the activities of the various branches of this mission. It is important that you remember we are not engaged in military maneuvers in any sense that the people of this planet understand those terms. We are not here to force a change because we know that force changes nothing and we are far too interested in change, to even try it. We are not at war, and there are no bad guys to defeat, just an offer of living assistance, to the people we came to liberate. Your belief in the enemy's existence, will soon pass as your planet transits, out of the third dimension, where that illusion resides. We did not choose military terminology, to foster your fictional belief, in an external adversary. We only chose these terms, because we had to choose something, and you all seem very conversant and comfortable with military thinking. Your focus was the basis for the analogy, coupled with your need for mental structure. This terminology is in no way an adequate expression of who we are or what we are doing. Unfortunately, any other analogy we could have chosen would have been equally inadequate, because it is virtually impossible to package a fifth dimensional thought form in a 3D wrapper. If you do not like our use of your language, please keep in mind that that is exactly what it is, your language. That is why we would have preferred that you had acquainted yourselves with this manual before your arrival on worlds where communication is pure and where misinterpretation is impossible. Be aware that until you are fully reawakened, there is always a potential for misunderstanding. Our advice is to proceed with caution and do not mistake the mental concepts we present is expressing the full meaning of what we say. Also keep in mind that this mission is not a military threat. Its sole purpose is to assist you and your planet through a graceful transition into the light, and its sole motivation is love. Job titles and overview. When the process of awakening is completed, and even as it is unfolding, you must begin to take your posts. For each of you, that post is different. It is beyond the scope of this manual to list all the job descriptions that you are soon to fill, because each of your tasks is unique and designed around your essence. Therefore, the knowledge of your innate purpose 
must come from within. You will know, when you are doing your specific work, when there is a deep resonance, within your being. Phase and grace, with which your life flows, is also a clear indication, that you are aligned with your true function. What follows are broad areas, of the mission's directives. Some topics are being left out deliberately because of their, highly sensitive nature. The material contained in this section of the manual will be enough, to trigger your memory of those areas, that are not mentioned. Be aware that this is a team effort. Since no two positions are identical, each one is indispensable. Mission control is dependent on all of you, your mastery, and your thorough training, to accomplish the tasks at hand. May the force be with you. The PLO, definition and purpose. Regardless of your specific tasks, you are all members of the PLO Planetary Liberation Organization. This is a spiritual organization, and is not to be confused with the political, Earth-based PLO that is constantly in the newspapers. That group, like most human political movements, is fear-based and hate-driven, and as such, has nothing to do with this, or what we are doing. Do not mistake this statement, for Mission Control stands on the Near East. Mission Control has no political stance on anything. We have a spiritual stance that views your PLO with the same weariness that it views everything else on this planet as yet another manifestation of a world separated from its source, itself, and each other. We use the PLO only by way of example and because its members are using our acronym. The real PLO's purpose is to assist in truly liberating the planet. This PLO is here to see that the last chapter of history is written. Rome is to fall for the final time, and history is to fall with it. That is what is meant by the prediction that the world is destined to come to an end. The PLO, its historic position. Your world views history as a record of everything important that has ever happened. Nothing could be further from the truth. History is little more than the distorted chronicling of endless human ego posturing, whose sole purpose has been to reinforce the state of denial. Since the planet has decided that no is no longer an acceptable answer, historic times have no choice but to come to an end. Unless you are an awakened member of the PLO, this concept may be difficult to swallow. For the benefit of those who are not yet fully awake, Mission Control offers some examples of history's inherent flaws that are leading to its timely termination. These examples will probably be equally difficult to swallow. Exhibit You have no doubt noticed that this planet's civilizations rise and fall with remarkable regularity. Historical accounts of these events invariably explain the reason for the decline. In the case of the demise of Rome, historians point to such contributing factors as moral decadence, and a rather unfortunate epidemic of lead poisoning. However, these were merely the symptoms, not the cause, of Rome's ruin. The true reason for the nauseating up and down motion of all human civilizations, Rome included, is that their ideologies, political systems, and social structures have failed to liberate anybody, especially themselves, from the vice-like grip of fear. Civilizations fall for one reason only. They are all built on fear and denial. Their subjects subsequently lose themselves in orgies, or wine and dine themselves on lead, to either distract themselves from that horrible fact, or to get themselves out of it, as fast as they can. And because the real issue is never faced, human bondage continues uninterrupted from one civilization to the next, ensuring the ultimate collapse of each one in turn. History isn't exactly repeating itself, it is to turn over an issue it hasn't addressed. Americans are another excellent example of this repeated dysfunctional descent into slavery and collapse. Duped by their declaration of independence, they fancy themselves to be free. But having a choice in where the next nuclear plant will be built instead of whether it should be built, being able to eat anything they wish from a totally infected food chain, and having an alienable right to file for an extension on paying the taxes that are being used to kill them are not exactly the freedoms that the authors of their constitution had in mind. The fact that their personal prisons may be expensive, tastefully decorated, and equipped with a stereo, a TV, and a VCR does not make their confines 
and he lost his cell. Trade in life for economic survival is not liberty. Liberty is freedom from both fear and survival. That was the freedom that was originally intended to flourish in the United States. In truth, the author behind the authors of the American Constitution was spirit, not the Bank of America, the Federal Reserve, or the IRS America, by acting out of fear, is busily turning its back on its own destiny, and facing an impending crash. However, it is in good company, because the rest of the world is doing the same. The Planetary Liberation Organization is a manifestation of spirit, and it is here to see that America, and all the countries of this world, turn and face their spiritual future instead of culturally caving, and under the weight of the Nile. The PLO is here to liberate the Earth from its dysfunctional historic repetition of destruction and decline. Exhibit B. The historic period has done little, but propagate lies. Even if an historic account is accurate which it usually isn't the event that it chooses to describe is nothing more than the acting out of a fundamental lie. Consequently whatever truth the situation may have held is invariably missed. An example of this can be seen in American history's rendition of its bloody conquest of the West. The very account will tell you that the white man won his war against the heathen and savage Indians. Not only are these reports unabashedly biased and the lie of separation that fueled the event carefully hidden, but the fact that the allegedly defeated Indian nation was the true victor is never acknowledged at all. You read that sentence correctly. The Indians won their war with the white man. That war was a struggle for spiritual ascendancy, not a battle to determine who would subjugate the land. The Indian peoples, who are fifth-dimensional representatives, sacrificed themselves with their very blood to assure that this nation would become the spiritual giant it was meant to be. History books are incapable of recording that fact because their function is to meticulously gather material in support of the fearful national egos they represent. Because they serve human self-deception, historic accounts totally ignore the grander and deeper movement of spirit that is always the only truth behind any fact. The Planetary Liberation Organization is here to assure that the fifth dimensional victory the Indian nation actually won is finally demonstrated, and that the third dimensional wounds sustained in that battle are fully healed. America will then assume its true spiritual identity and discover what manifest destiny really means. Note, for those of you who are having trouble digesting the truth about this statement, let us point out another historic example. If you believe that Japan lost World War II, we would like you to take a look in your driveways. The PLO and Armistice Day, the end of history, should not be perceived as a frightening event. History has been the frightening event. Its end is the liberation that will exalt humanity, not strip it of its power. As the planetary ego aligns with spirit, it will have no further need to defend itself against an enemy that does not exist nor will it have any use for carefully recording that process and then passing it on to future generations as an impaired model for them to imitate. The Planetary Liberation Organization is here to cut an energetic pathway to a state of grace. In doing so, it will enable the planetary inhabitants to claim their freedom from both their national and their personal histories, as well as allow them to experience their true spiritual and physical wealth. The celebrations that mark the endings of your world wars will look like sedate little tea parties compared to the global celebration of true peace and liberation that will date the end of historic times.